What up, YouTube? Uh, sorry, it's been a little while since I've been making any videos. I haven't really even been on Google Plus much. And um, it's just because I haven't had much time. I haven't had much time to, you know, watch. I even watch YouTube videos, to be honest. Just, it's been something new every day, you know. And um, it's kind of funny, you know, when you're a kid, it seems like... You know, the years go by so slow, you know, and your, you know, when your, when your birthday comes around, it feels like it's been forever since your last birthday. But it seems like once you graduate and you start working, that all changes. You, you know, you rarely have time. The years go by real fast. Um, you know, you're there paying bills and, you know, it's comes time to renew your car insurance and it feels like you just renewed it you know six months or a year ago whatever kind of policy you guys so you know you know for for those of you who are adults that pay your own bills and everything you know what i'm talking about you know there's only 24 hours in a day and it feels like you need at least 48 <laughs> but anyways um i was able to get a little bit of time to do this video um and um I, I i seen it when this video first surfaced about uh andre ward um you know calling triple g little g and and all this stuff about the um contract that he laid out and you know the, i see people jumping on the bandwagon talking about well triple g refused the fight but it, the same thing happened with Triple G and Andre Ward before he, and that's the other thing you got to realize. He has a fight sign, you know. He has a fight to worry about now, you know. Andre Ward, in my opinion, and I'm an Andre Ward fan. Uh, I'm actually a fan of, of both of them. But um, here's what I see. This is just my take. All right, just hear me out. But before the Lemieux fight was signed, Triple G was trying to make a fight with Andre Ward. And Andre Ward turned the fight down. So what does Triple G do? He goes and he signs a unification fight with David Lemieux. Now all of a sudden, Andre Ward is trying to offer Triple G a fight. And Triple G turns it down. Now wait a minute. Triple G has a fight. Andre Ward is the one who is without a dance partner. See what I'm saying? So don't you think that it's kind of weird that when they were both available, Triple G's trying to make the fight, Andre Ward um, turns it down, and all you extreme fans want to like put every excuse why Andre Ward shouldn't have taken the, taken the fight. But then when Andre Ward says that he offers uh, Triple G the fight, but yet Triple G already has a fight signed, you know, then, I mean, I, I really don't agree with that. You know, what if Triple G loses that fight? I mean, let's be real. I'm picking Triple G to win that fight. But let's say, you know, because, I mean, it's still it can happen. But let's say he loses that fight. Now Andre Ward is fighting a loser. That doesn't make any sense. Now, as like I say, you know, more than likely he's going to win that fight, and you know, it's it the fight will make sense. But the bottom line is, when they were both available, Andre Ward didn't want the fight. Now that Triple G has a fight that you know, he, he's focused on and that he has to worry about and he has to train for. Now that's when Andre Ward wants to make the fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the other thing is, and, you know, this really rubbed me the wrong way, is, uh, you know, apparently at the Pacquiao-Mayweather uh, fight, Andre Ward asked Tom Loeffler not to mention his name in any of the interviews, um, you know, about him fighting Triple G. 
and they um you know they honored his request so um but now Andre Ward can't keep Triple G's name out of his mouth. I think it's a little bit hypocritical. You know, if some, you know, something happened, you offered him a fight and he turned it down, the man has a fight already. Just keep that under wraps. You know, but I think what's going on is, and this is, this is partially the Triple G extremist fault because I'm consistent when it comes to that. I don't like, extremists for a fighter i like fight extremists you know but if you're extremist for a particular fighter you know you ain't really a boxing fan you just you know a fan of that fighter and that's it but um you know it is partially the triple g extremist fault because you know the same thing that the andre ward people um they're doing right now is what the Triple G people were doing when Andre Ward turned down the fight. So I mean, really, <clears throat> like I say, you know, we don't we don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We're not these guys' trainers, managers, advisors, uh, um, promoters. We're you know we're not in that inner circle, so we don't know all the details and um. I think that's kind of like where social media has kind of messed up the sport is, you know, people are just too worried about what's going on in the social media. And really, all I care about is what's going on in the ring. You know, we there's no way for us to possibly know everything, you know. I mean, the Manny Pacquiao uh, Mayweather fight's a good example. You know, um, Mayweather had... Freddie Roach and Manny Pacquiao um, to an agreement that they couldn't announce the fight. They knew that the fight was going to happen, but they had a way for Mayweather to announce the fight. So <clears throat> it's just one of those, you know, they had a gag order. This is one of those things, you know, you don't, you don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but I mean, from the stuff that I do know, you know, Andre Ward's really rubbing me the wrong way. Um, if the fight were to happen, I would, I would just have to pick uh, Andre Ward to win. I give him the edge. He, he just um, has done more. He's more proven. Um, but I, I'm not saying Triple G don't have a chance to beat him because. You know, Triple G's a beast. We really don't, you know, people point out, well, he hasn't really fought nobody, or he actually has fought some people. You know, you just don't want to give him credit for it. Um, no, they're not to the same caliber as the people that Andre Ward has fought, but he has fought people. The thing is, just because he hasn't fought nobody doesn't mean that he um, that he can't beat him. Because really, you haven't seen to the extent of what he actually can do. You know, so I mean that that's the thing about about that. You know, if if he's gone up against a better fighter and he struggles, well, then you kind of know where he stands. Whereas if he goes up against, you know, let's say he goes up against a, a bigger fighter and he, you know, destroys him, you still don't know the extent of what his power is. Because that means he has to fight somebody even better. Until he struggles with somebody, you really can't gauge him, to be honest. All you can say is, well, from here on down, these people don't have a chance. But anyways, um, that's off topic. The, the topic here is, I, I just think that us as fighting fans, we need to get out of our emotions. We have to take into account what we know and acknowledge what we don't know. Because, I mean, I, I just I just see a lot of fans talking out of their ass. You know, they they now want to go with this little G and, and and oh and back to what I was saying. I just remember what I was in the middle of saying. But um, you know when I, I pick Ward to win, but I want Triple G to win. Um, that's just how I feel. It may have to do with you know. Just this whole thing award rubbing me the wrong way. 
Um, he's starting to show signs of cockiness over signs that he's been showing of diva, divaism. So I would just, I would like for Triple, Triple G to win. But Andre Ward's a very smart fighter, so um, I have to give the edge to him. But anyways, I mean, we're, I don't even know why I'm giving a prediction when the fight's not even made. And, you know, Andre, like I said, Andre Ward is the one without a dance partner right now, not Triple G. So, I mean, when it comes down to it, Triple G is making moves where Andre Ward is just talking. But anyways, let me know what y'all think. Y'all have a good day.